and welcome to the 2021 How To Festival here in San Diego. It is virtual this year, I know. Uh, my name is Marissa. Um, I'm one of the presenters for this year. And this year, what I'm going to be presenting is how to make a paper background for a backdrop, as well as how to make a backdrop that costs just a little under $15. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Now for starters, let's look at the supplies. For the supplies, there are a couple of things that you will be needing. Um, I highly recommend that you grab some writing supplies. Um, I usually use a bunch of uh, Sharpie markers myself, as well as a couple of pens, um, a pencil and an eraser. It's you will also need to have printouts of your uh, paper background ready. In addition to that, you will also need to have scissors um, so that you can cut out your images, your repeated images for your backdrop. And then you will also need a ruler. In the Lastly, you will need to make sure that you have some adhesives on hand so that you can put the paper background together. So those are the supplies for the paper background. Now I'm going to go over the supplies for the actual backdrop itself um, that you're gonna hear this paper background to. Okay. And it's majority going to be uh, PVC pipe as well as some PVC pipe uh, end pieces um, and pieces to connect it um, with the PVC PVC pipe, I will uh, recommend cutting it while you're um, at, say, your local Home Depot or Lowe's. While you're there, they should have a cutter that you can use. Um, you'll want to go in with all of your measurements ahead of time. As you see here, um, I have four different sizes for my PVC pipe. Um, they are, the longest one is 40 inches. Next to that, my second longest piece is 30.5 inches. The third longest piece is 23.5 inches, and then the smallest pieces that I have there are seven and a half inches tall. Now, in addition to the PVC itself, I do have some extra pieces that go with it. Um, you'll want to make sure that you have uh, PVC clamps. Um, it's optional, but I do highly recommend it uh, just because it helps you to better clamp your paper background to the initial backdrop. Um, in addition to this, I also recommend getting PVC end caps. It just makes your backdrop look a lot better, um, at least the feet uh, when you finish uh, assembling that together. In addition to that, I also have um, two is the quantity for the elbow shapes that you'll need for the PVC pipe. And then lastly, you will also need to get four T shapes uh, to also connect your PVC pipes. And now that we have our supplies out of the way, let me go ahead and show you how I go about putting together my paper background. So as you can see here with my paper background, I have multiple colored printouts of a repeated background. Um, as I mentioned prior, that's just an easier background to work with because then you don't have to worry about pixelation should you want to enlarge um, a singular image. So, so with these sheets that I've now gone ahead and cut out with my scissors, I am going to start aligning them and taping them uh, to start forming that paper background for the backdrop.
Okay, let's talk lettering and foreground images. So I already designed my foreground, as you can see here, and it's all made entirely out of paper uh, with some uh, glue and some markers is what I use, some Sharpie markers. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start applying adhesive to the back of the foreground object. Now I am going to get into adhesive um, with you guys. I just have a couple of notes uh, to talk to you about regarding adhesives and kind of how they work with the paper uh, overall for the background. So let's go ahead and get into that. Okay guys, we are in the home stretch of my how-to instructional video for how to make a paper background in a paper backdrop. The very last portion of this is going to be me showing you guys how to put together um, the pieces of PVC pipe um, and other end pieces that you have.
Thanks again for watching. Once again, my name is Marissa and it has been an absolute pleasure showing you how to make a paper background as well as an affordable backdrop for our 2021 virtual how-to festival in San Diego.